Chat, you already know this episode 27, so you should be familiar that I got a theme for all my movies. You know what I'm saying? So for this segment, my theme is, you know, when you swim in the ocean, pause, mm -hmm. the deep blue sea, these movies right here going to have you thinking twice mm. about going too far into the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Because that should be on the slit. That should be on the slizzing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're going to start with the first movie called Underwater. Came out in 2020. They downplayed the shit out of this movie because this movie was well shot and how they made the movie feel so claustrophobic as a viewer. Mm -hmm. It just made you like, nah, I ain't fucking with the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's about a, a drilling company that's, Damn near in the Mariana Trench. So that's that's like the deepest part of the ocean. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you starring uh Christine Stewart, Jessica Jessica Henwick, uh Mom Pause, Mama Do Ati, I'm probably butchering buddy name, uh TJ Miller, Vincent Castle, John Gallagher Jr., Gunnar Wright, and Fiona Renee. So the main character. Chris, uh, Kristen Stewart, she's a scientist. She wakes up, about to start her day. Mind you, they underneath the water, seven miles deep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like they drilling and they fuck around and drilled in the wrong spot. And like an earthquake underwater happens. And you just got to watch the rest of the movie. You know what I'm saying? All hell wire starts from there. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucking lit. And it just showcases that. We don't really know what's going on underneath the water. You know what I'm saying? So the first movie is Underwater. Next one, same premise, Underwater, claustrophobia, don't know what's going on underneath the water, all types of different shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Second movie is The Abyss. Fire Came movie. Fire movie. Now in 1989. Yeah. Stars uh, Ed Harris, Mary Elizabeth uh, Maston Mastatonio. Butchering her name, my bad. Uh, Michael Bain, Kid Brewer Jr., Dick Warlock, pause. Elo Broomster, uh, Kimberly Scott, and John Bedford Lloyd. Again, a drilling team underneath the water. Uh, found something they wasn't supposed to find. All hell breaks loose. Gotta watch the movie. Fire movie and stuff. Last but not least, dope movie. Not as good as these other two, but still on the same premise of deep out in the ocean. Yeah. They're doing the wrong shit, fucking up, and shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Deep Rising. Pause. Yeah. Uh, came, came out in 1998. Uh, stars Treat Williams, uh, Femka Johnson, uh, Kevin J. O'Connor, Wes Study, Anthony Held, Jason Fleming, Chris Kurt. Curtis and Derek O'Connor. Fire movie as well. Uh, it's about this, um, what you gonna call this? Uh, cruise ship that's out in the ocean, in the middle of the ocean, fucked up, send a, um, a distress signal, signal. This pirate ship comes and tries to loop the shit. And now you gotta watch the movie. Shit just start <laughs> going haywire from there. You know what I'm saying? So, these three movies make you think twice about going too damn far out the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Stay, stay what uh, TLC says, yeah. stay within the rivers. What you <laughs> And the lips that you used stay to. With, stay within the shores that you used to, you heard? Don't go chase don't go, the wolves, you heard? Don't go out there, you heard? It ain't, it ain't safe for you, blood. Stay by the shore, you feel me? Because that shit, shit be on the slit. On the <laughs> slizzing, you know what I'm saying? So, underwater, the, uh, the abyss, and deep rising, make you think twice about going out in the ocean. You heard? Yeah, facts, facts. Dope movies. I've seen two of those, so fire movies. Make sure y'all check those out. My three movies, I'm not like my brother. He always got a theme. Me, I come, you know, pause. You know, I, I, I just be freestyling, but I like to name movies that I think majority of the people who do watch movies have never been seen before. And even some popular movies to, you know, to some of y'all. But you'll be surprised that some people have never seen some of these movies. So just tap into this. My first movie, if you're a movie person, you've probably seen this. But this is a must-see. All three of these are must-sees. The Ninth Gate. 
Mm. Came out in 1999. Directed by Roman Polinski. Roman Polinski, he's done movies like Rosemary's Baby and The Pianalist. Uh, this particular movie stars Johnny Depp, Frank Lang Lang Langella, sorry, Frank Lang Frank Langella, and Lena Olin. Fire movie. Um, it's about uh, a, a gentleman who was a collector of uh, 17th century books, and in these books, he was trying to find the key to summon the devil. And you have to watch the rest of the movie. You have to watch it. It's a dope movie if you're into those type of movies. And it's not like a boring watch. It's action all through the movie. Fire movie. You won't be disappointed. My second movie is called Straight Out of Brooklyn. Straight Out of Brooklyn came out in 1991. It was directed by Maddie Rich. Maddie Rich, he's known for doing. Uh, the Inkwell. Uh, this particular movie stars Lawrence Gilliard Jr. Y'all know Lawrence Gill Gilliard Jr. Uh, mainly for playing D'Angelo Barksdale from The Wire. You know him for playing uh, Dean in Raising Canaan right now. Actually, his character just got murdered off of uh, Raising Canaan, the Dean character. And he played in The Water Boy as the kicker. So, you know, that oh, shit. He was uh, a yeah. <laughs> And, and and that was hilarious. His 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 character in the Water Boy was hilarious, and it also stars George uh, Oden. Fire movie is about a family in the projects of Brooklyn. They're struggling. The, you know the 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 father is is tired of the surroundings. His kids having lack of opportunity. Mind you, his kids are both smart, has aspirations to go to college, has the grades, but they don't have the money. And you have to see the rest of the movie to watch it. It's a great movie, and it's a must-watch. My third uh, in Red Hook, yeah, that, right. The movie was done right in Red Hook, Brooklyn. Absolutely, Ace. They say saying it in the chat. Yes. Uh, again, that was straight out of Brooklyn, 1991. My third movie is Fear of the Black Hat. Comedy. This movie is hilarious. This came out in 1993. Uh, this is directed by Rusty uh, Condent. Uh, you've seen him. Uh, he's an actor as well. He stars in this movie as well, but you've seen him also play in Tales in the Hood as the teacher that uh, was telling the parent that this kid was drawing these disturbing drawings. He played the teacher. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he also played in Sprung as Tisha Campbell's love interest. Um, but it stars him, uh, Cassie Lemons, Mark, uh, Mark, uh, Christopher, Larry B. Scott, Darren Scott, uh, Lance Coulter. Y'all probably know Lance Coulter mostly for playing Pootie Tang, uh, Barry Henley, Rose Jackson, Faze I Love, a must-see movie. This, it, this is another version of CB4. If y'all are familiar with the movie CB4, where it's like, a it's like a, a a parody of such on hip hop music, mm -hmm. but this is yo. This takes the comedy to a whole nother another level. And y'all probably know Rose Jackson. I said Rose Jackson. Y'all probably know her for playing. Uh, I think her name was Carol in uh, in Dead Presidents, the movie Dead Presidents. She plays the baby mother that ends up messing with Cuddy, and then. When he came back from the army, that's Rose Jackson. She's also in this movie. Um, but again, it's a parody of what hip hop was in the 1990s. Um, and it's it's just hilarious. And the, and y'all probably don't know him by name, but Larry B. Scott was also known for playing Lamar in Revert Revenge of the Nerds. So, and that's the you know, the Doisy character in that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but he stands out because he's you know what I mean? In a, right. in, but it's a must-see movie, though. It's funny. You can see all of these movies on Tubi except for Straight Out of Brooklyn. Straight Out of Brooklyn, you probably could find on YouTube, but it's a must-see movie. So make sure y'all tap into the ninth gate, Straight Out of Brooklyn, Fear of, of Fear of a Black Hat.